Hello, my name is Ms. K and I work at the Kingstown Library. Today I will be showing you how to make your handprint into a beautiful paper lily for Mother's Day. It doesn't take long to make and it doesn't use many supplies, but it is a lovely and personalized gift for the upcoming holiday. For this project, you will need a piece of construction paper. I'm using pink, but you can use whatever color you like best. We'll also need a pencil with an eraser, a pair of scissors, some tape. You can use any kind of scotch tape, but it'll probably be best to use the clear kind, a marker, it doesn't matter what color. <laughs> one yellow pipe cleaner and one green pipe cleaner. That's all you need. Let's get started. First, we're going to make a tracing of one of our hands. You're going to put your hand on the construction paper and trace it carefully with the pencil. Make sure you go all the way around your fingers. Almost done. There we go. Now we're going to cut out our hand tracing with the scissors. Please have an adult help you with the cutting if you need it. Now that we've cut out our hand prints, we're going to use the pencil eraser to erase any stray marks that we may have missed while cutting. We want our flower to look its best. Now we're going to start making the top of our flower. Take your handprint and turn it over so that it faces this way. Start rolling the flower so that the end is a small cone. It's okay if it takes you more than one try to do this. Okay, got our cone. And as you see, the bottom of the cone needs to have a little hole. Make sure you keep the little hole and that it's just big enough for the pipe cleaner to go through and that it will fit snugly and not fall out. Now that you have your little cone, you want to use two pieces of tape to keep it closed so that it won't unroll. There we go. After the flower is secure, we're going to use our marker to roll down the fingers of our handprint to make the petals. So you're gonna take the top of a finger and just roll it down like this till it makes a curl. And just hold it there for a second. See, a curl. Let's do one more so you can see it. And there's another curl. Now we're going to make the stem for our flower out of the pipe cleaners. Take the green pipe cleaner and make a little hook at the end so that it kind of looks like a giant letter J. Take the yellow pipe cleaner and fold it in half, and then cut it in half, because we only need half of it for our project. Then we're going to bend our half of our yellow pipe cleaner in half again to make a little V. We're gonna take our little V and we're going to hook it into our J so that it looks like this. And then, oops, <laughs> we're going to pinch the J closed. You can bend it too if you have room so that they stay connected. So it's gonna look like this. So you're gonna take this half of the letter V and bend it in half like this, pinch it closed, and then you're gonna take the straight half of the V and 
bring it over at the bottom so that the long side of the bead went from here to this side. And we're gonna start wrapping the longer end all the way up the shorter end until it's all gone. There you go, here's our stem. Now that the stem is finished, we're going to take our flower and take the bottom of the stem, the green part, and we're going to put it in the middle of our flower through the hole and pull it through until the yellow part is showing inside of the flower. So now you have a beautiful lily to give as a gift to show that you care. You can make just one or many. If you choose to make a bunch of them, you could put them in a vase and display them like real flowers. Or you could gather them together and tie them together with a beautiful bow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun making these flowers or receiving them as gifts. And I also hope everyone has a very happy Mother's Day.